851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. Let's talk about that Emirates A380 drone shot, which has been circulating the internet in recent days, and even possibly weeks. In this particular video, I just wanted to give my thoughts and have a general discussion about the incident. If you haven't seen the footage yet, it shows an Emirates Airbus A380 departing a tropical island in Mauritius. However, it's taken from a drone, which is located, of course, in the air. When the Airbus A380 passes, it's quite close as well. In fact, it's less than 100 metres away from the tip of the A380's left wing. The aircraft was performing EK702 to Dubai. This footage first surfaced on the internet, I believe, in mid-July, and was posted by a Frenchman who quickly removed the footage. He said that he was an A380 captain for Air France. Of course, even though he removed the footage, reposts have been flying left, right, and center. So is it real or is it fake? Like we've been told since we were young or since the internet has been around, you can't trust everything you see on the internet. And this was one of those cases that just seems too idiotic to believe. After all, there are rules which are in place that tell you not to be operating your drone that close to an aircraft, or even a flight path for that matter. A YouTube channel titled Droning On over recent weeks have completed an in-depth analysis on the shot, and the video is really interesting. I'd highly recommend it if you're keen to learn more about this. After this video, check that out. They will be linked in the description. After a full analysis, they concluded that the footage was in fact real. They covered key points like the reflection, aircraft itself, and a whole lot more. Investigations are already taking place, and the supposed A380 captain will no doubt be the first on the list to be investigated after he was the one that posted the video on his Facebook page, with the caption, That's what a little crazy guy managed to do with a drone in Mauritius. Hello, flight safety. So what do I think? Well, in my opinion, it's idiotic that someone would fly a drone this close to a plane. The A380 isn't a Saab 340B, and that's not saying that it would be okay to fly a drone next to a Saab 340B, but the point I'm trying to make is that this A380 carries hundreds of people. Hundreds. That drone already puts lives at risk just by being up near the plane. But what if it malfunctioned? What if it flew into one of the A380's engines? What if it hit the cockpit window? What if it hit the wing? There are so many what-if scenarios, and all of them can potentially end in disaster. The issue is that drones are drones. In my opinion, they are one of the coolest pieces of technology on the market to date. But that's when they're used right. There are fantastic videos from creators on this very platform that use drones to create stunning short films of beautiful scenery in Canada or New Zealand. And before they created these particular videos, they read the rules for where they were going, followed those particular guidelines outlined, and used their drone responsibly. They weren't being stupid, and certainly didn't put their drone right next to an airport to get that shot of a plane which hasn't been seen before. What are my thoughts on the footage itself? Well, it's an impressive angle, and that's because it isn't every day, thankfully, drone footage emerges right next to a plane. Drones, like I said earlier, give us the ability to see things and capture things we wouldn't be able to do with your DSLR or a camcorder. So at first glance, this does look pretty incredible to see. But the bottom line is, it's wrong. You see, if we want to achieve angles like this, or similar angles, this is where professional videographers, photographers, and more are hired in by the airline itself, or even the airport. They're granted permission, situated in a safe spot, which has been deemed safe by the airport and the airline, and then are allowed to film. We've seen it multiple times with air-to-air -air shots, special stunts, programs like Ultimate Airport Dubai, and so on. At this stage, we still don't know the pilot of the drone, but thorough investigations are ongoing. I want to ask you, obviously, your thoughts on this. I've given a brief rundown without going on too much of a rant in this particular video, but I'd still be very interested to hear your take on this ridiculous, selfish, and unsafe act in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you very much for 95,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate your continued support that you show me on every single video, and I look forward to hitting 100,000. See you all in the next video.